everybody's probably heard about the big story breaking in the United Kingdom um, about the Secretary of State, Matt Hancock. Um, basically, it's one of the kind of, I suppose it hasn't happened now and yet, sooner or later it will happen. Um, but the media over here won't look into it anyway. Um, but again, he had a fair with his war colleague. Um, he had a fair with it. He's already married. Um, but the thing about this is, and the thing as I always say about politicians, especially if they have a fair or treat them wives or girlfriends, um, that they're not really afraid to cheat the country and they're not really afraid to cheat the people out um, and be crooked um, because if they can't keep a faithful promise to their wife and to their partner um, that they can't be faithful to their country um, and to their you know, people I mean, it's totally honest like you see Matt Hancock it's a perfect example um, he say, like every time I've seen him on the news um, even though I wasn't paying much attention, you hear Matt Hancock with the Boris Johnson and the rest of them. He'd be like, stay apart, keep two metres, don't huddle or don't kiss or anything like that. There's a picture going around of a 93-year-old woman who couldn't see her granddaughter, couldn't see any of her children. And like that behind glass, um, behind the glass, basically, let's be honest, hard, hard glass, um, which they couldn't touch hands, they couldn't hug each other, they couldn't do anything like that. Um, and he was like, you know, it's all a sacrifice we have to make and everything that's all for the greater good, etc, etc, etc. And he was basically lecturing people, you know, don't hug, don't kiss, don't go near anybody, don't do this, don't do that, don't do the other. Um, and again, typical politicians, it's, you know, it's way of proving himself that, you know, he's not faithful to his people, you know, he's not faithful to his country. Um, if he's going to say to his people, you know, to sacrifice um, hugging and kissing and whatever, um, and you know, not traveling anywhere, just staying in the house. You know, if he's going to say that, then you know, he should provide by his own words and what he's own what he's saying. Do as he says, not as she says, as they say. As one person often said, um, but yeah, he's going to keep his job. It's typical. It's like it's like um, like the time that I went down to the I walked the scarf society, um. Phil Hogan, the only because everybody in Ireland was literally going to up and there would have been a rebellion um, if Phil Hogan didn't go. Um, like Seamus Wolf's still a Supreme Court judge. He's, he's actually still sitting in the Supreme Court and he's got to pay wise. Um, the, like again, they still have very big pensions out of it. They, like they're not going to be much affected. Like the housing minister, like the, the housing minister, oh no, the agriculture minister left, Daryl O'Brien. Um, not that old brain, it's fair with a glass of category. No, that's the house minister and getting confused between the two of them. Um but again you remember, I'm sure everybody remembers that, Clifton Goff Society. Um big just fuck you to everybody in the country and again the day before that they were like stay apart, don't go here, don't go there, every X, Y and Z and then they went down and had the jolly. Um again, it just shows you they don't really care much for the people and what people take of them. Um it's all about the money. They only care about the money and making sure that the investments are on hand. Um, perfect example of Mike Hancock. You know, at the very least, again, if that was me, and if I did that wrong, like, again, it's, it's wrong to cheat on your wife. It's, uh, you know, again, if you're married, it's wrong. It's completely wrong. It's on, it's on being unfaithful. Um, and above all else, it's being unfaithful in office. You should be focused on what you're doing um, and not worrying about other extramarital concerns. Um... But again, it just goes to show you just a typical politician does, doesn't give a fuck, and uh, forgive my language, but it doesn't give a fuck about anybody apart from himself. Um, the very least, if he's going to apologise, he could have just said before anybody even asked him to resign, he could have just resigned and got rid of himself and said, you will have enough, I have enough, I'm going, I'm out, I'm gone, I'm never going to be back in the British press again, I'm never going to be anywhere in public in Britain again, I'm going to go away and I'm never going to come back. Um, I would have been like, you know, at least maybe he's trying to redeem himself. Um, he's trying to get some redemption. He feels sorry about it, but um, you know he's going to keep his job, and he's like, I don't care. Um, and you know, I need to go as far as saying, you know, he should be in the Irish government because he probably would suit them over here. Um, but again, it's just a clusterfuck. It's just, it's just really, really clusterfuck. Um, and especially because well, there's a video showing it online, the day beforehand he was lecturing people on. Um, and as one woman rightfully said, if you do that, if like if she done it, like she's an only citizen of the United Kingdom, if she done it, she'd be probably in prison. The police would probably come with batons. Probably sixteen of them would come along with batons and beat her up. Um, probably kick down her door. Probably break her windows. Probably kick her dog. Probably break her dog's neck. 
um, because of COVID regulations. COVID is very serious. COVID regulations. Uh, even though somebody's down in the street, a mass murder, where you know we're not gonna we're gonna treat them with the utmost respect. Um, but if somebody who breaks COVID legislation, oh God, no! If somebody hugs the dying murder on a hospital bed, they're sending the they're sending the black and tans. Um, but again, this is the country. This is where we live in the Western world now. This is what it's come to. Um, but yeah, Matt Hancock should have signed, and that's just putting it straight. But you usually don't talk about outside politics, but um, it's just a perfect example. Just the politicians here too, just couldn't give a fuck. I say some of them are at it over here, um, but the OT are uh, not at home. You know, OT are very busy doing other things, um. In other words, just talking absolute bollocks, twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, and couldn't be asked to do anything. Um, because when you talk bollocks, you know, it's easy money. But yeah, thank you for watching. Take care, everybody, and be safe at them. Bye.